Before Jeff Bezos decided to build Amazon, he stumbled on a very peculiar statistic. According to him, he saw that web usage was increasing by 2,300% per year. He decided to tap into that and quit his job to start Amazon in 1994. Almost three decades have passed since then and Amazon today stands as the paragon of e-commerce. Why does this matter, you may ask? Well, it matters because Amazon couldn't have amassed that much wealth without putting some companies out of business. Companies like Barnes & Noble, Rise Aid, Office Depot, AutoZone and O'Reilly, and many more were heavily affected with many workers being laid off. In fact, a certain study by credit insurance company Ilda Herms showed that since 2008, 56,000 stores have closed in the US and 670,000 net jobs lost due to a rise in e-commerce, a rise largely initiated by Amazon. Since online stores do not need salespeople, it is easy to see why so many salespeople lost their jobs when more and more people began making purchases online. Millennials lost their jobs. You and I, we are the millennials. And a couple of innovations similar in impact to Amazon are coming in the near future that would threaten the income of the millennials who refuse to prepare for their coming. And that is the essence of this video. To bring your attention to the innovations that are going to hit us really soon and would inevitably lead to the loss of jobs on a very dangerous scale. To get you up to speed, let's go back in time a little. Just before the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s, most things are done manually. When the Industrial Revolution came, most people who dived in early became very wealthy because they benefited from first-timers' advantage. First-timers' advantage simply means you get into something when most people have hardly noticed it. All the profits to be made will be made by those first-timers. And by the time others flock in, the first-timers already have a head start. Thus, a competitive advantage. At the same time, some people won't dive in at all. Those are the people who are hit real hard. Just as many people became extremely rich through the Industrial Revolution, a lot of other people who were unable to move with the times lost their jobs. Fast forward a few decades, then came the internet. At the early stages of the internet boom, Elon Musk, the world's richest man as of the time of making this video, was set to get a PhD in energy physics at Stanford University, one of the best universities in the world. But he dropped out after only about two days because he understands the wealth potential which any new disruptive technology carries. He understood the importance of first time advantage. He abandoned his PhD and started a company called Zip2 with his brother. After a few years, they sold the company for $300 million and began X.com, presently known as PayPal, later selling it for a rewarding sum of $1.5 billion, with which he used to start SpaceX and Tesla. All businesses that bloomed because of the internet created jobs for a lot of people. But on the flip side, many more people lost their jobs. The Industrial Revolution has had its turn. The internet has had its turn. Now is the turn of a few others and here they are. Number 1. Artificial Intelligence Tesla Motors are self-driving vehicles powered by artificial intelligence. And although artificial intelligence is still in its infancy, it is doing a pretty good job at driving people from point A to point B without those people having to touch the steering wheel. Can you guess what will happen to taxi drivers when self-driving vehicles become a norm? Of course, they will be out of business. There are at least 17 million taxi drivers worldwide. Imagine how many people will lose their source of livelihood when Tesla and other self-driving vehicles achieve world dominance. But that's not all. There will be self-driving planes too, so pilots won't be safe 
either. A lot of manufacturing processes would be automated too, so factory workers aren't safe either. The only people who survive these revolutionary changes are those who can tap into it on time. You do not need to know a lot about artificial intelligence. You just need to be willing to incorporate it into your business one way or the other. If you're from Africa, congratulations. The internet has not run its full course in Africa and there are a lot of businesses that are yet to begin operating online. This means that there are a lot of opportunities to disrupt businesses and make a fortune. Worry less about artificial intelligence for now, but carry in mind that it is heading for us sooner or later. Stick around to the end of the video and I will give you ideas on things you can do to prepare for this inevitability so that you can be among the millennials who do not get drowned by the next inevitable transformational technology the world will give birth to. Back to my point about Africa still being virgin ground for startups looking to disrupt existing markets. Let's look at the two friends who founded Paystack, which is a payment platform. We have a full video on Paystack which I suggest you watch after this video. But just as a summary, Paystack is essentially a Stripe or PayPal for Nigeria. They began Paystack in 2015 and by 2020, each of them was worth over $100 million because they sold Paystack to Stripe. Had they started Paystack for tier 1 countries like the USA, I can argue that they may not have made the much success they did because tier 1 countries are quite saturated and a lot more competitive. Africa, on the other hand, is far from saturated and a lot of companies are yet to be disrupted. I am not downplaying their hard work or ingenuity. All credits to both of them. They are really hardworking and they are geniuses in their own rights. The point I'm making is that despite Africa being a much more difficult environment for entrepreneurs, it is still a virgin ground for businesses, meaning that there are lots of opportunities for you and me to tap into here in Africa, assuming of course that you live in Africa. The second disruptive technology is renewable energy. This is one born out of necessity, with the ozone layer, the plating and global warming becoming a real issue. The world has been forced to look for alternative sources for energy that are friendlier to the environment. So, the renewable energy industry is one industry that would produce another set of world millionaires while simultaneously making a lot more people poor. During the Industrial Revolution, coal and all fractions of crude oil were used to power most engines. But with the use of solar and hydropower on the rise, a day will come when coal and crude oil will become useless. In fact, some countries are already operating on less than 5% non-renewable energy. So, in the next few decades, you can expect to see most workers in electricity firms get laid off. We have a dedicated video on how to make money with the renewable energy industry and it will be linked in the description box below and in the card above. Another disruptive technology which we will all have to eventually embrace is digital currency. It is the future of the finance sector and Bitcoin is leading the race. Ignoring digital currency is tantamount to missing out on the next big thing. Already, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have already made a lot of millionaires. But a lot more people will become millionaires through digital currency and this will spell doom for people in the banking sector. Again, you do not need to know everything about cryptocurrency. You just need to be willing to incorporate it into your business. You need to move with the times. Elon Musk's Tesla company recently bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and have begun accepting Bitcoin as a payment option on purchases of their vehicles. This will certainly lead to other big companies following suit and eventually 
Bitcoin would become a global currency as if it already isn't. Bitcoin price will surge to the moon and those who invested early will smile more. Disclaimer, I am not giving you financial advice, I am just airing my thoughts. Aside from artificial intelligence, renewable energy and digital currency, I think nanotechnology, when perfected, will also take some people out of the markets. So, if you are still watching, congratulations! Here is the most helpful part of this video, which answers the question, how can you be among the millennials who become millennials when the inevitable happens? Well, in the words of Mark Cuban, always ask yourself, where is the world going and how can I get there first? By far, that's the best advice I can give you. Head in the direction of the latest technology. Leverage it and incorporate it into your business. I would be looking forward to hearing lovely stories from you guys in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!